Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we create a sandbox using structure tool for the purpose of showing a, a report linkage in the navigator dynamically. So let's see the logic. So we have a couple of things to be created. The first thing is we'll create a report, then a custom role, and then we'll create a sandbox. There are three things which we'll be creating today. So the first thing is a just simple a BI report and it is just displaying the party data and observe the link of this particular BI report. So I'm taking the link of an XMLP server linkage. So when you design a BI report, you can get the analytics linkage or you can have a XMLP server linkage. So in our case, we are considering the XMLP server link and you can observe that after the XMLP server, the path of the report is custom or our training XX or our report XX or our party report dot XDO. So let's make a note of the XDO location. Now, Coming to the next slide. We'll create a custom role. The custom role name is XXORA custom role, or you can observe the code name carefully because this is a name which we have to use it in our sandbox. The role code is XXORA underscore cust underscore role. And as of now, I have assigned only one user, FAS 16 dot student. And now we'll create a sandbox. To create the sandbox, you have to navigate to the configuration. You have to click on sandbox and then click on the create sandbox button. Once you click on create sandbox button, you have to mention the sandbox name. You can mention the description if you want or else you can ignore it, but better to mention the description and select the tool called structure. Okay. Now then click on create and enter. Once you click on create and enter, your page should be look like like this and you'll have the sandbox name and the tools you should be able to see the structure. Click on structure. Once you click on structure, you'll be navigating to the below page. Here in the create drop down, you have two entries. One is create group, other one is create page entry. The first thing is whatever the information which you see in the above, right here, like expenses group, my enterprise group, tools like this. So that is nothing but a group. And the other one is a page entry, the links which are available in that group that is called a page entry. So now we want to create a group and then we'll create a page entry. The first thing is we'll create a group and our requirement is we want to control the report group itself, not the linkage just a standalone, but we can want to control the report group. You can also control the linkage also. Now we'll just consider enabling, disabling the group based on the role. So we'll create a group. And for this one, here we have an option called show on navigator. In the show on navigator, what we do is instead of yes or no, we'll select EL expression. In the EL expression, we have a syntax here, security context dot user in role. And then in the single course, we have to mention the role. So this is my custom role, which I mentioned. If at all, if you want to mention multiple roles, you can mention the comma separated fashion enclosed in a single course. Okay, this is syntax. And here you should be able to see the report group here like this. Once the report group is created, we'll create a page entry. And here we'll mention the party report. And here in the group, we'll select the group, uh, group name. And then we'll select show on navigator, yes and yes. And then what we do is here, we'll select the options, a couple of options carefully. Link type, I would like to go with dynamic URL and the web application name, I'll go with XMLP server and the destination, I'll just mention the XDO. So the advantage of this kind of logic, link type dynamic URL is you does not need to mention the full path of your report with instance. So then in the other instance also, you can just mention the logical URL of your report rather than the hard coded instance name here. That is advantage of this particular dynamic URL XMLP server web application. Once the sandbox is created, then what you can do is now we can observe this like um, this particular report group is available for the XX or a sorry FA 16 dot student. If you log in with other user called FA 0 student, you should not be able to see that particular role. It is not showing the report group and we are not able to see that particular report linkage here. And now let us just see the logic again. So I'll show in from the instance now. So here if you observe this is my FA 16 student dot user and here I have my report and I have able to navigate to the report directly. And now let us see the structure or a logic. If at all, if you want to understand what the structure behind it, simply click on tools, click on structure and you can just see the code also, right? You can see the code. So what you can do is you can click on this report group and understand what is the logic was written here beside like in this one. You can click on this edit. You should be able to see this particular report this particular real expression. And let me show you the role also. So it's just a very simple custom job role. 
So how do we create the job role? You can click on Navigator. Tools and click on Security Console. And here click on Roles, mention the role name. And click on Edit. And here I have assigned to a couple of users fs02 dot student and fs16 dot student for for 01 if you observe let's say where i'm if you observe the screen so this is fs01 student in the fs01 student it does not show that particular link okay and if you observe let us say if i observe other student fs02 i'm able to see this okay so this is how we are able to control the availability of a group or a page group to the user the same way you can you can have a logic you can have the same el expression logic on the linkage also not just a report group you can have a linkage on the report link also either way it will work okay so this is all about you know how do we dynamically control a page link or a group link at runtime in oracle fusion using the structure tool thank you